so I can. Okay. Okay, one player. Grand Prix, 150. Okay. I will use the train. train. So, uh... It's not gonna be by- it's gonna say by cup, but it's not actually by cup. You'll have to let me know after I've done four races, because I'm not completely sure. Okay. I'm gonna turn off my room, my room light really quick. Alright. I have world studies of a lot of people. What, um, what period do you have world studies? Me? Yeah. I have AP world history. Darn it. Yeah. The first period. I have world studies third, no, last period. Hmm. Oh, computer, what are you trying to run? Okay, can you see it still? Yeah. Okay. This lighting is a little weird. I'm gonna turn on the to low. Oh. Ha! <laughs> it looks funny, Jeremy. Look. <laughs> okay. All right, time for the all cup tour. All right, we got this, right, Jeremy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a helicopter outside. Yeah. Really low. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's, it's here too. My house is shaking. Really? Yeah. I guess it's not close to yet. Lately, it's close to me yet. Oh, here it comes. Hello, helicopter. I have things shaking right now in my room. Now it's not. Hello, okay, helicopter. where goes my shroom that I had? I like how I wasn't paying attention to at all what I was doing to, on this race right in that moment. Okay. I honestly don't care what position I get. I just want to finish fast. Yeah, that's the idea. However, in Mario Kart 64, you actually have to worry about it. Otherwise, if, if you don't get fourth or higher, you have to retry. Yeah. Remember when my dad was in the hospital? Uh, we, uh, we watched a helicopter land on the roof oh, wow. of the hospital building next to us because we were like, he was on like the 14th floor or something like that. Oh. So we could see the obviously the ground below, and a we got to watch a helicopter land, which is pretty cool. There's a restaurant right by the hospital called Fatso's Bar and Grill. You ever heard of that? Mm, nope. They have great food there, but anyway. Okay, that's a chain shop. Okay. But the, uh... But, uh, they're right by the hospital, so, like, we can see the... helicopters land sometimes. Or oh, another fun fact... Uh, that was a bar only, like, oh, only people 21 or over were allowed. And my parents are normals there. And in 1998, when I was born, uh, my dad said that on the day I was born, he went to go get my mom a cheeseburger, and they were putting up, bear, oh, uh, fences inside the thing so that minors could be there. Oh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> my parents like to say that that's because of me. <laughs> and they might be right. We're playing Bowser's Castle second? Wow, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Huh? Interesting. I hit somebody with my giant shell. Thank you. I was like, why is it toad on the front? Come on, get a mini turbo. Mini turbo. Thank you. My goodness. Really? That stun time helped me a bit. I'm not even kidding, that stun time helped me. Those sometimes help you, especially the bananas. Especially in this game. Yeah. I like how Chris was saying that the ones in uh, Mario Kart are non existent. How about this game, Chris? Yeah. Try defending Double Dash for that. Okay! Thank you for bumping me, Piranha. That was so nice of you. 
I need to be bumped off the course, obviously. Clearly. Clearly. This con this controller is definitely broken in. I can feel it. The lot the thumbstick is a lot loose. It's a lot more loose than it is on my controller. Which can be good and can be bad, depending on the game you're playing. In this case, it's good. I keep trying to look backwards by pressing Z like you do in Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. One thing I don't like about Mario Kart 8 is the whole system of looking behind you. What's wrong with it? It's just, it feels really awkward to me. Yeah, I, you know what, I'll agree with you on that. And the reason for it being is it's a weird little angle. Yeah. Like, they put you at, like, you. all you can see is your face, like, they put in, you know, when you're driving, your camera is, like, ten feet back of your car. But then in Mario Kart 8, when you look, uh, behind you, you're, like, right in front of your car, you can't see anything. Yeah. And, um, like, I usually just, I have my, um, I, I, I press accelerate with the tip of my thumb. Yeah. But that requires me to slide it to the back of my thumb. Hmm. What was that noise? That was a motorcycle starting. Dang. I can't do the shortcut of that fireball in the way. That was a terrible Bowser Castle race. That was a really bad Bowser Castle race. Second lap compared to the rest of it is embarrassing. Ah, okay. All right. Is the stream is the is the thing still working okay? Yeah. I think I'm three for three on starting boosts, and I haven't even been spa I haven't been doing the spam A version. I think I got the timing down. I swear, and even the newer Mario Karts, where it's in between two and one, it's always slightly different to get the better boost. Now yeah. in these older versions, you had to get it perfect in order to get the boost. There wasn't a longer or a shorter boost. Which is good and bad, because on Wario's Goldmine and the Wii, when you're trying to do the glitch, you want a really short boost, so you don't have to, like, go from a slow start, but yet you can slow down quick enough after getting the boost. Yeah, that's true. And not fly off the course. And then, it's annoying on some courses, like, whenever I play a Toad's Factory time trial, I'll get a good time trial, but then I'll go back and, you know, I'll be like, why wasn't that a new record? And I'll go realize I didn't get a full starting boost. Starting boosts are important. They are- they really are. You know how to do standstill mini turbos, right? Yeah. Where you just kinda press A and yeah. B at the same- or whatever. I, I always- I, Yeah, I press R. I always use A and B at the same time. I don't know why, just the way I learned it. And it's weird because on the, uh, the Wii Wheel, which is the controller I used to use, obviously, uh, you pressed B to drift. But then when I did standstill mini turbos, I did one and two at the same time, for whatever reason. Oh. So that's where that habit came from. My, my thumb just sliding onto both the buttons. I always found it easier to release it at the same exact time. Oh. And just, yeah, it's, I just find it easier that way. It's just force of habit, honestly. Yes, I will gladly just take the mushroom that is laying there randomly on the ground. Of course I will. Who in their right mind wouldn't do that? <sighs> okay. Three races are in the books. We're almost ten minutes in because I've had really long courses to start off. 
Bowser's Castle and then that course. And then I have Wario Coliseum. Wario um, Coliseum. How crazy is this? I get Bowser Castle and Wario Coliseum the same in the first four races. That's good though, getting the long ones out of the way. Yeah. I'm expecting a time of around like 40 minutes. That's the total time it'll take me to do this. Okay, th did you see that? Nope. <laughs> I'm outside of the app right now. Well, it's a good thing that I am recording this then. Yeah, it's... Because my, my car was on, was like flipped completely over on the ground for like three seconds. Oh. Just kind of sitting there because I got hit in midair and then I just landed upside down. It just kind of stayed there. And then it just all of a sudden like flipped over. I was on my way again. Mario Kart physics. There's actually a way in Mario Kart Wii to flip with a tiny Titan vehicle upside down in Coconut Ball. You, like, drive up onto the railing slowly, and then the cart will just flip over. It's hilarious. Wow. On N64 Bowser Castle, you can just use the railings to... I just totally just freaking tricked that red shell. But you can use the railings to, uh... Like, do a barrel roll with a cart. Do a barrel roll. Or the, well, the bike, I mean. Do well, thank you. Why are you outside the app? Oh, because I'm checking Snapchat. Oh, of course you are. Ooh, green shell. Throw it behind me, because there's nobody near me right now. Good thing Carl Sian on this game is only two laps. Yeah. Whoa, that's Donkey Kong right there. Holy crap. Donkey Dong. Donkey Dong. Donkey Dong, yeah. I didn't get DK in that explosion. Okay, good. I got him something. <gasps> I just fell off, of course, because my drift wouldn't start. DK. Donkey Kong. Huh? DK. Donkey Kong. Oh. Thank you. Okay, the shock will actually... That blue shell and the shock are actually helpful. <laughs> Most things are helpful in that game. Except for bombs, they're useless in this game. Yeah. You ready for this? Well, BAM! Oh crap, I'm gonna hit- oh, okay, good. Thank you for hitting me right in front of the boost panel, I'm good. I get first. That was easy. Alright, I can split now. 11 minutes and 16 seconds for the first four tracks. And then again, I got some pretty long ones in there, so... Can you blame me? I mean, I can, but it won't be well placed. No, it wouldn't be. Peach Beach, okay. Son of a peach. Thank you, Piranha Plant, for coming and smacking me in the face. Look at what I got. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Yep. Boom! Gotta go fast. You're sanity. Aw, uh, what? How did I lose all three mushrooms doing that? I thought you only lose two when you hit something. I don't know. It's okay, you can die, Mario. Getting hit by something in this game is only helpful if it doesn't fling you up in the air. Yeah, like, bananas are ridiculous. And red shells. But getting hit by a catacrack, or as Gabe calls them, Cadillacs, is just not... Cadillac? Yeah, he calls them a Cadillac. Ooh, look what I have, this is good. Banana snipe. Nope. <laughs> Banana's stuck in this game to try and throw him forward. Thank you for helping me across the line, Red Shell.
This is a fairly good, decent run so far. This isn't terrible. I'm... Yeah. 38 minutes could happen. It can... It could definitely happen. I've gotten first every race so far. Huh? 48. What? 48 minutes. 38 minutes could definitely happen. Especially if it keeps running the shorter tracks. The very worst, I think I'll get 43 minutes. That's if I do terrible. Okay. Which I'm not doing. T I'm actually doing fairly well right now. After playing so much Mario Kart 64, I'm used to the weird drifting physics. This game yeah. doesn't like hop. This game doesn't have hops. It just kind of you just kind of slide. Yeah. Then again, it's called a power slide. The shock propelled me forward in time. Like <laughs> it helped me. The shock is a time saver when it hits you, if you have fast acceleration. I found out that I really, really need to get a classic controller for when I get my Wii U. Why? The gamepad is just really awkward for me to play with when Mario Kart 8. Yeah, I feel the same way. Uh, the GameCube controller adapter is coming out, maybe you should wait for that. Or, or yeah, yeah. you can go on Amazon for like 10 bucks they sell these things. You plug into your Wii Remote, and you just plug your GameCube controller into it. Oh, that's cool. And you can use your GameCube controller. I want one, but I'm gonna wait for the official adapter to come out with Smash. Yeah. The next console I plan on investing is a Super Nintendo. You know, I might... get a Retron 1 and then just a SNES. Are you gonna try and trade back your Retron 3, since it doesn't work? My 2, yeah. Oh, your 2? I didn't re Oh, I thought it was a 3. I actually no, thought you bought that from GameStar originally, I don't know why. I wouldn't get a 3, because I don't really like Genesis. Oh. Oh, that's right, they have the 3 there. Yeah. They have- yeah. They have 2 of the same color with mine. Hmm. And they have a red and black one. I didn't think that the guy would sell a retro- uh, the toy box would sell a Retron system. He did. Hmm. I thought he only sold the actual thing. He- yeah, he was- he also, um, he said he would take my Retron. What do you mean? Like, my Retron 1. Oh. But I decided to sell it to, uh, GameStar instead. Probably would've gotten more in-store credit at his place. Well, he was like, uh, they'll probably only give you $10 for it, and then I went to GameStar, and they're like, yeah, I'll give you 15 Well, it's 15 It's... Yeah, yeah. Well, still. And I, I prefer to buy from the local business as opposed to the corporate business. Yeah, but GameStar is Washington local. Yeah, I know, but that's, that's expanding, I'm sure. I guess. Yeah. There's one toy box. Besides, I, 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 I like the guy there. He's, yeah, he's totally good. honest about everything. And, you know, when you're doing stuff there, you just gotta understand that he runs a business. Yeah. And he has a Wii U there. Yeah, he does have a Wii U there. I want it. How much is it at his thing? I can't remember. 200. Oh, that's actually a pretty good price. It is. It's a black Wii U, too. Yeah, that's a good price. You totally should have traded with him. Yeah. Just trying to think if maybe you have anything that might be worth something. Like, I had those stupid micro Star Wars Micro Machine toys. You gave me 50 bucks for them all. <laughs> and then my DS, he gave me 35 bucks for that. And the game, I brought in a Pac-Man game for the DS that I didn't want anymore. He gave me 3 bucks for it. Yeah, he liked the DS because A, it worked, and B, it included the original manuals and such. Because cool. I took good care of it so that when I did want to sell it, it would be worth something. I'm trying to think if I have anything else I could trade into him for something. Yeah, same here. I don't have much. One of my many Wii remotes, maybe. <laughs> but... Yeah, I just, 
I don't have much. I have a couple crap games that I'd get rid of, but I might get a dollar for each one. I could sell my PS2, maybe. Oh, you might be able to. Yeah, he, I'm sure he'd take that for a decent amount. I don't have the cables for it, though. You don't have the cables for your PS2? Oh. Well, sell him just the console. He has a collection of cables. Okay. Is he, do you have a fat or a slim PS2? I have a fat. Does it still work? Yep. Huh. Do you have any games and controllers for it? I have two controllers. One of the joysticks is broken, and the other I'm going to send to Hannah. Um, and... Uh, I have some games for it. I have, like, a little booklet of games, but most of them are just disc-only. That's alright. I'm sure you could, like, bundle everything together. I... You, yeah. just gotta, you just gotta negotiate with them a little bit, I'm sure. I'm just trying to think of what I could sell him. Like, what else do I have? I'm sure my dad doesn't want me to sell his Hot Wheel collection. <laughs> He's got old- my dad has an old Hot Wheel collection. Um... Of course I spin out the Goobas, I tried to avoid it. I love how I try to avoid- Thank you, Piranha Plant, for squishing me into your brother. Okay. Two reds, awesome. Of course one hit the banana. That's a minefield of bananas, holy crap, there is no way I was avoiding those. Come on! Let me catch up here. Jeez, give me a golden. That's useless. Oh my god, I thought that might actually hit him, but it didn't. I'm not getting first this race. That's gonna make me mad. Dang it. I believe that is the fourth. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm halfway through this. That was a terrible race. Goodness. I didn't get first. Oh well. That Grand Prix only- that- that section only took like nine minutes. Oh, I didn't get the boost. Wow. Do you regret getting your in-store credit at GameStar? Not really. No? So what, you'll tr what all did you trade in a GameStar besides your, uh, Retron? Um, I did my 360. Oh, that's right. Uh, two controllers, a Kinect, some games for that. I got, I, I think it was, a uh, Rumble Pack. Oh, uh, for the 64? Yeah, um, oh. some GameCube games. What GameCube games did you sell? Um, I think it was, oh, there was only one. It was Naruto Clash of Clans. Oh, Clash of Clans, that's funny. Just, I'm assuming it's a game you don't play anymore? Yeah, I, I don't think I ever played it. I probably did. Okay, I guess I won't do that shortcut. That works. Oh, I also sold some 64 games. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. I don't know what I just got hit with, but whatever. The shock. trying to think because the guy at uh, Toy Box takes more than video games. Yeah. Which is something nice, obviously. I don't have much else to sell instead of video games. Yeah.
Okay. Wonder how much my dad's record collection would sell for. Yes, I beat that piranha plant. You should have seen that finish. That was amazing. I did not beat him by much. Yeah, nope, not by much. Purple GameCube controller for the win. Ooh, Joshi Circuit. There we go. Ready, Jeremy? Well, bam! Bam. Did a shortcut. This game has no has two glitches, but they're nearly impossible. So this is the least glitchy of all the Mario Kart games. This game is a one of the most is the probably the most stable Mario Kart. The least bugs. Does uh does Super Mario Kart have any glitches? Um Go look up Mario Kart uh Super Mario Kart speed run of some kind. Okay, hold on. on YouTube and just watch. It's like there's like a it's like like twenty one minutes to finish the entire game for him. Dang. Yeah, I think there's some glitches in there, Jeremy. They all use the feather, I swear. He just uses the feather to abuse the, uh, to abuse the wall, the boundaries of the game. Yeah. As you might expect. Okay, let's not fall off the course. That's a good. Okay, you just steal my item box, DK. DK and Paratrooper, that's an interesting combo. Who's your least favorite Mario character? In Mario Kart? No, I just Mario character. Uh, like, how do I judge that? Why do you want me to judge that? Just, just self preference. Um, like, you, you find them obnoxious. You don't like them that much. You think they're dumb. Uh. Obnoxious? Just something that you don't like about them. Um, well, I can say that about pretty much every character. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, one that it's most apparent in. Uh, Pink Gold Peach, because it's just a poor excuse for, for a character in Mario Kart 8. Yeah. And Metal Mario for that same purpose in Mario yeah, Kart 7. Yeah, I wish they had taken out Metal Mario and Pink Gold Peach and put in Bowser Jr. and Diddy Kong. I would have gone for Bowser Jr. and Birdo. Oh, I don't like Birdo. Or, uh... I, how about remove all the baby characters? But oh, why? Oh, no, I'm saying, like, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby oh, Peach, okay. Baby Daisy, Baby Rosa. Because they weren't actually characters, you know? I don't think... Now, I like the addition of new characters. Like, I like the addition of, Z of Link. That's cool. Yeah, also the, uh... Back from Animal Crossing, Villager. Huh? The Villager is also in Animal Crossing. The Animal Crossing guy is gonna be in there too. Now the only other, the only problem I have with the thing is that it's becoming a Nintendo cart, and if they're gonna do a Nintendo cart, they should just it, release yeah. Smash Brothers for the Wii U, and then they should do a Nintendo cart that's based off of Mario Kart, pretty much, but have it be like a Smash Brothers game. Have it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Have all the characters and have character and have tracks based off of you know all the different games. Yeah, they had, they are gonna add tracks based on like Zelda and F Zero and Animal Crossing. Uh, there's also gonna be some like uh, some bike game I've never heard of. Mm. Oh uh oh F Zero. No. Oh. A bike game I've never heard of. It's like Excite Bike. There. Yeah. That's oh, it. yeah. That's what it's called. I need to look that up and see what it is. It's originally an NES game. Oh, it's an NES game. Okay. Yeah. I'm not getting first this race, but I'm not getting fourth either. I'm going to get second.
That crap, that failed. Oh, thank you. The music on this track is amazing. GCN Sherbert Land's music is awesome. Was that- what race number was that? No, that wasn't the... I have one more race until it's, uh... Race number 12. Yeah, here we go. It's after this race that I have to split. The 38 minutes is no longer alive, by the way. Yeah. It's gonna be like 42 minutes at this point, because Rainbow Road's an extremely long track. I haven't played Baby Park, I haven't played Rainbow Road. What else have I not played? Uh, can't think right now. Jeremy, what else have I not played? <sighs> Baby Park, Rainbow Road, and two others. Oh, Dino Dino Jungle, and... That, that one. There's just one track that I can't think of right now. Can you look that up- one with, That one with the thing. Okay, can you go online and look up a, uh, list of all the Double Dash tracks? Yeah. Just name them all off until I until you list and to, and then I'll just know which one it is. Find it yet? Yeah, hold on. It's loading. Okay. Have you done Dry Dry Desert? Yes. Uh, Mushroom Bridge? That's the other one. Okay. Thank you. Alright, splitting. Okay, so there's a few- so, yeah, short tracks are left. So, Baby Park, Mushroom Bridge, and Rainbow Road, and what was the other one? I can't remember now. Um... Dino Dino Jungle. Okay. So, two long ones, two short ones. The 42 minutes is alive. Definitely is alive. It's so true, it's alive. I love that I can just press Z to swap the character so I can just hold these mushrooms up here. Yeah. Except I have to do it every time. Oh, I just lost one of the mushrooms. Dang it. Hey, there's my Bowser shell. Oh, I guess I won't use a mushroom then. Oh well. <laughs> I don't care. But you just tried to meow with any yawn and stop himself. Huh? But you just tried to meow with any yawn and stop himself. Huh. Your voice, uh, are you farther away from your phone? Yep. Yeah, I can tell. Dude, the wind, good lord. Huh? The wind is ridiculous. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. You know our trailer? There's yeah. a There's a canopy on t that was on top of it. Yeah, it flipped over the front. Oh, God. As a matter of fact, you should probably fix... Eh, it's not a big deal. Okay, I guess I'll get stuck on that railing there. Ooh, I hit the fib. Wow, this is a terrible ending to a good race. Need that major though. Okay. 
Maybe the 43 minutes is the 42 minutes isn't alive. It may not be. Oh, jeez. What? What are you gonna get? Probably like 45 minutes at this point. Oh, wow. Unless my next three races are good, I'm guessing Baby Park is next. Yep, here we go. That means Dino Dino Jungle did Rainbow Road. Because Rainbow Road's always last. I didn't get the boost. Crap. That's a bad start. Snake the crap out of this track. I need to watch the time. Crap. Go. I'm not losing this here. The best time on Double Dash for the All Cup Tour is 29.07. I bet you that's all. I bet you, but that doesn't include the the times in between tracks and stuff. Uh, I guess so, maybe. I'm not include. Yeah, I'll look at what my time in the end is. I'm sure it's gonna be like 35 minutes or something like that. I like how Chris is trying to get the world record on GCM Baby Park, and I don't think he realizes how much seven seconds off actually is. Yeah, good lord. Seven seconds is a lot. Shoot, point three seconds is a lot. You like how I found my just found a star in the middle of the road? Yeah, I love how that can happen. Well, somebody must have dropped it. What was my last lap? Yeah, look at that freaking amazing last lap. Damn. So that was a good baby park race. Who knows? The 42 minutes might be alive. We have to. We just have to win the next few races. And we have to go quickly. Gotta go fast. I have a question, Jeremy. Yep. Do you get school lunch or do you bring your own lunch? School lunch. I always bring my own. Because I get free lunch, so like, why not? Oh, yeah, it's true. I get a- I, 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 I don't get free lunch. Oh. It's three bucks for me. Which is a lot. So, I just bring my own lunch. I get- so I already have tomorrow's lunch packed. It's a jerk- a uh, ham and cheese sandwich with, uh, with, like, oat nut bread or something like that. It's got, uh, I have three Oreo cookies, a bag of barbecue chips, and a can of Pepsi. Does, um, does Student Source sell beef jerky? No, I do not think so. Ah. Oh. I wish. Beef jerky is so good. We'll bring that up to them. Submit them a suggestion. Sell beef jerky. I'll buy it for you every day or something like that. Yeah. However, I'm sure they'd charge a pretty penny for it. That's true. Because, like, beef jerky is already expensive on its own in a school. Well, they're, uh... When you think about it, they do offer pretty good deals. They're... They, they charge three bucks, uh... Or, I think it's... I think it's... No, it's two fifty. I think. I don't remember what they charge. But it's something, it's like three bucks or two dollars and fifty cents for a slice of pizza and a water bottle, which is pretty good. It's like a Costco deal almost. Yeah. Costco's is better though. Dollar fifty yeah. for a hot dog and a soda is like unbeatable. You you will never find that anywhere. That's like fifty that's apparently it's been the same price since nineteen eighty four. Ah oh, crap, I fell. That's not good. Costco's cool. We went there today and we got a uh, frozen frozen yogurt. I wanna go there and get like ten buckets of beef jerky. <laughs> we bought, uh, we, me, me and my brother each got to pick a 36 pack of soda. Oh, wow. So my, I got Pepsi and my brother got Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. So, uh, we'll, we won't run out of soda for a while. Yeah. We might have enough soda for a month. That's cool. Here goes the shock. Hopefully the Mountain Dew will, be, will still be there. Sure will be, because Gage's the only one who drinks Mountain Dew now. Me and my mom drink Pepsi. Oh. Okay, 42 minutes might be alive, Jeremy. I have to do well in Rainbow Road. I hope so. <sighs> okay. Got this. Oh. 
What? Wasn't a full boost, but yeah. You can't do that in single player. Oh, okay. Only multiplayer. Oh, come on. That turn. Are you, are you watching the race? Yep. Is it lagging? Uh, not really. Good. Is it supposed to be full screen? Huh? Is it supposed to be full screen? No. Okay. Because it records as the resolution that the window is at, so keep oh, it at okay. 480p, so it's quicker to upload. Now, if I were recording like an actual video, I'd keep it 720p, but this is a quickie video, something yeah. I don't want to have take forever to upload. Because if I do get a decent time of like four, under 43 minutes, I will upload this Okay. to YouTube. To the YouTubes. Oh, what? The red shells went around them! Red shells are so dumb in this. They're dumber in 64. Like they just in 64, they crash into a wall. Yeah, it takes them like 20 minutes to realize. Oh, they're there. Okay. In 64. Yeah. No, they my red shells just explode whenever I throw them. Like I throw them at Calamari Desert, they head right to the train tracks. Oh. And they well, go like, away. I I like I throw them straight, and then they keep going straight for a while until they realize where the where it is. Well, they take the direct, uh, like a straight line toward the player in front of them. So if you're on a turn, like, if you're on a track like Toad's Turnpike, they're gonna smash into something. Definitely. Or N64 Yoshi or or Yoshi Valley. Yeah. Like how I say N64 Yoshi Valley. Yeah, because of Mario Kart 8. Huh? Because of Mario Kart 8. Well, because of Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. Oh. Okay. They actually have a custom track. They actually have a custom track of uh uh. N64 Rainbow Road, but the way you unlock it, you have to enter a button combination in the menu of this custom track channel, and it's like a special combination you have to enter to enable it. Wow. It's like you're going to the tracks, like you have to go and make a custom organized track menu, then you have to, like in one of the cups, you on one of the tracks, you have to go like, you have to enter a button combination with the Wiimote, you have to go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and then press home, and it will appear. It's like, okay? That's kind of like the Konami code. But it's like, why is that there? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Alright, the 42 minutes is alive. Oh boy. Oh, you can do this. Get under 43, upload this. Yeah, I know. I, if I don't fall off, we're good. But I just got through the hardest part of the course. Oh boy. Look what was laying there right for me. Who knows, maybe I could get under 42 minutes. That would be neat. If that's the case, then that's like... I'm gonna have trouble beating that. You know what, I think I just got under 42 minutes. If I can finish this in the next 20 seconds, which is gonna be easy. Oh, you got it. Done. Boom. Boom, baby. There we go. That's a PR. Right there. PR. That's a PB. Personal best. Yeah. PR. Personal record. Well, there you go, guys. 41 minutes, 48 seconds, and 17... Milliseconds. Yep. All the piantas. Yeah, all them piantas. <laughs> I was trying to remember what they're called. They're Piantas. Yeah. I used to think it was Delfinos. No, it's Piantas. Yeah, I always thought they were called Delfinos as well. Because like Delfino Square is where you originate. Yeah. That cart kind of looks like a honeycomb. Hmm. 35 minutes. Dang. See, I told you it's going to be around 35 minutes. Yeah. See, that's my best. Uh, you see why it's putting my name in? It's because that's my best time. That's a new record. Oh, okay. Cool. I think I can skip this, right? Yeah. Thanks for that's playing. There we go. I have to hold the memory card into the Wii. Well, there we go. That's a wrap. New record for the win. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now.